More than 100 yard sale vendors line Highway 127. It's just a great opportunity to meet individuals and, and really to uh, declutter our homes. Thousands of people are expected to shop at one or all of the nine locations in the Tennessee Valley. Would you like a bag for this? If you don't mind. Many customers are enjoying this event with a group of people. Sandy Hendricks from Mississippi makes this a girl's trip every year. So far, they've spent almost six hours driving to Chattanooga. I have two cousins that come and a friend of mine, so there's four of us coming and we find lots of good stuff. Angie Bandy and her family save items all year so that they can participate in this yard sale. This year, some of the items they are selling are from the Signal Mountain Middle School Christmas concert. She says a portion of the proceeds will go to the band. Items that need new homes to um, uh, whether it's children's or adults clothes, uh, games, toys. After these shoppers find the items they want, it's time to continue their designated route to the next sale. Well, we just drive from stop to stop to stop. Chris Aruda spent a few days visiting her grandkids in Florida before the sale started. Now it's time for them to head back home to upstate New York. They decided to drive along Highway 127 to continue the summer fun. She says they are prepared for the trip. Pack up some sandwiches on the way so if we don't want to stop, we don't have to. In case they run out of food or want something different, Vash Blaylock and his brother are there to help. Last year they sold lemonade during the yard sale and this year they wanted to expand. So we have two cookies in a bag for a dollar and uh, two Oreo packs for a dollar and a cup of lemonade for a dollar. Reporting from Signal Mountain, I'm Casey Freeman, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.